Hang on. There we go. There we go. Hey guys, it's raining, it's nasty. There's horrible storms coming this way. Let's go fishing. down here and see if we can catch us some minnows water's a little muddy the old bait bucket here when it doesn't get muddy <laughs> get some of the water in there See, we got bubbles. We got bubbles. Bubbles. Okay. Get the old cast net out, guys. This is a really good one for minnows because uh, it's quarter-inch mesh. Most of most of the ones that you buy, like from Walmart, is either like three-eighths inch mesh or half-inch mesh, and minnows tend to uh, be able to escape them. So. This quarter inch mesh if you uh like crappie fishing pan fishing that sort of thing get you one that's uh got a quarter inch mesh Got a few, not many, but a few. Some down there. All right. Oh. A little bit better. A little bit better. See what we got. Can we get some more? Oh, yeah, that's better. That was better. Not perfect, but better. That's going to do it for us. Let's take a look. Oh. <laughs> Had a bluegill in there, guys. Oh, somewhere I got a bluegill. Can't have that. Oh, come here, fella. You get some trouble. Not a lot of cast net those. Mm -hmm. Grab my trash. Apparently. <laughs> What's up guys? It's your boy Nomad. You guys, I'm down here in the tailwaters of Cave Run Lake. Um, it's like maybe last day of March, I think. Um, guys, I haven't done very much fishing, but um, I think that's going to change seasons uh seasons coming in guys talk a little bit about water flow we were running at about 3,000 cfs 3500 cfs over the last few days they've kicked it down to about 2,000 cfs so i don't know how that's going to affect our fishing but i'm hopeful that we can get into some panfish some crappie maybe some rock bass that sort of thing guys i'm gonna throw a couple jigs i'm gonna throw some live minnows out there we're just gonna see what's gonna work and uh 
By the way, maybe we can catch us a meal. Come on. Now, see where we can set this little guy up. At somewhere, somewhere cool, somewhere safe. Hmm. Let's see. You're gonna get wet. You're gonna get very, very wet today. It's part of it. Let's see. You like that? How y'all like that? Is that good? What do you think? You want to record right here? I am. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. All right, let's get into our little goodie bag here. Uh, goodie bag, I mean, whatever we're gonna call this. Hook ready. I don't know how deep we need to set this. Looks like this one's gonna be at about three and a half feet or something. Like that, show you guys how I hook these. Grab this little minnow first. Guys, if you followed the channel very much, you guys know I like to go through the eyes on these minnows. I think they stay alive better than if you go up through their mouth or through their nose or through their side or whatever. But uh, this is gonna be about three and a half feet deep and we're just gonna cast it right out here. And let it drift down. And move on to the next one. Try slip and fall in the process. There's this one, guys. Finally, a little crappie. <laughs> Just spit out our minnow, too. Look at that guy's hook right in the top of the mouth. Perfect. Beautiful little white crappie. Back in the water. Here's this one, guys. Hooked us back, jerk. That one's not quite keeper size, guys. We're gonna let it go. Jig going on. That's a that's a better fish. See if we can get it caught. Should be a keeper. Yeah, it's a keeper. Heck yeah. What's up guys, it's your boy Nomad. Guys came out uh, yesterday, caught some bait, uh, some minnows in the cast net. I'll probably put a little bit of the video right here. And uh, came out and caught a few crappie guys, but today uh, we're gonna focus on trying to jig up some crappie. So right now um, I'm using um, 1 16th ounce jig heads with uh, crappie magnets and uh, just below a bobber so that i can slow roll them guys we're gonna fish right along these rocks here um and just see if we can find some fish schooled up guys there's little weed beds out here um i can see bait fish moving around right out here in front of us so um there's gonna be fish in this area 
So let's just see if we can get them. little weed bed right here on this side of the bobber guys we're gonna try to go right along this side of it or that side of it just catch just the very edge of it see if something's sitting in there all right guys here's the setup I'm recording all right cool uh, 16 ounce jig head crappie magnet that I actually bit the uh, tip of it off so it fit this hook better and then about two and a half feet up I've got a little bobber here so uh, just so that I can slow roll it I'm just gonna cast it out there not too far from bank and I'm gonna slow roll it back coming back Nice and easy. Again, we're going right through these, uh, right beside and above through these uh, weed beds, guys. That's where these fish are going to hang out. The water clarity is a little bit better than it was yesterday, but not much. Probably about the same. Uh, got some good sunlight on it though. Heavy winds. and slow coming back to us there's just one there's just one it's a little river crappie guys this is probably about an eight inch fish something like that seven inch fish we're not gonna keep them beautiful fish though Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Other way, fella. There you go. There you go. Do it again, guys.
is going to be the small of the day. Thought I felt it just a little tiny thump. <laughs> we had one hit it while we were sleeping, guys. We was looking the other direction. A white crappie. Was not paying attention. Looked to my left. Looked back to my right. Couldn't find my bobber. Never makes me unhappy. Good surprise. Good surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh. Just another one. So that one didn't take it down. But like I was saying a minute ago, guys, they, uh, sometimes you can watch that bobber. Come on, fella. Sometimes you can watch the bobber. Well, look at this one. He's been tore up. And instead of that bobber being in the water like this, I watched it, and all of a sudden it was like this, and then it just did this. Like there was no weight on it. So that crappie come up from below, hit this thing and lifted it up into the water, took the weight off that bobber, and uh, that's how I knew I had a I had a fish on. Got to pay attention. Oh yeah, we're catching a crappie on that cast. That's perfect. Perfect. Give a little jig. Give it a little jig. There he is. There he is. He likes that little jig action. This one feels like a better crappie, guys. Yeah, he is a little bit better crappie. When he inhaled that one. Crappie of the day right here. This is probably a 10. Look at that down in there. Yeah, buddy. Very about the old forceps. Yeah, not a giant, but he's a good river crappie. Our hookup ratio is awful right now, guys. Again, same thing guys bobber never went under you just saw it kind of float up a little bit kind of come level with the water
All right, guys, I hope you can hear me, but come out here for about three more hours today. We probably got 20 or 25 crappie, but guys, the uh, keepers were hard to come by. But by the way, guys, that's a technique, you know, floating that jig under a bobber and working it slow, that's a technique that's, uh, it's certainly not new. Uh, it's actually something I saw done, I don't know, two or three, two or three years ago by uh, I think Richard Jean or somebody like that. I've been using it since then. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I still just about every technique I have, I've stole from somebody, whether it's my uncles, um, you know, friends. If I had any of those, or YouTube. So, by the way, guys. I appreciate you watching um hopefully i can get back in the swing of things make some more videos on a regular basis and uh also still work on the projects i need to work on so either way i'm out